Welcome to Let's Talk Tuesday with Red, White, and Bethune. Each week, we will cover a different tip, helpful hack, or advice on all things RV and tiny living. Let's take a look at what we're talking about today. Welcome back to Let's Talk Tuesday. In this episode, we're going to give our top eight helpful tips for RVing full-time with dogs. Let's jump right in. Number one is shots. It is very important to get your pet's yearly shots done. Best way to do this is going through a place called Shot Vet or something similar. What they do, they're a mobile vet, they're across the country, and you can go pay a fraction of what it would be at a regular vet to get their shots done. They still do a wellness check and all of that. What's really great is that they email you all of your dog's shot records. So you can screenshot them and save them onto a folder in your your photos on your phone so that way you have their records with you all the time. So for number two, building a place or having a place in your rig for your dogs to be in their own secure spot is very important. We At least we feel like it is because you know when we leave or in the evening when we need or we're eating dinner we want to put them up you know, so you go, you can get creative here, but we opted to build a custom kennel inside of our rig because it was very important for us to have a place for them to go and be secure and feel comfortable. We've seen people build spaces inside of their dinette. We have seen them build it underneath their bed because there's extra storage underneath their bed. We chose to put it in our hallway underneath our closet. So if you need a space for a dog kennel, there's so many resources out there, so many pictures of ideas of what other people have done in order to safely keep your pets out of trouble. Coming in at number three is our dog fence. We have a very large 48 inch high portable dog fence that we connect together and we're able to let the dogs run around. We don't leave them unsupervised though. You should always stay with your dog no matter where they're at because um, they can knock tend to knock it over or jump over it, you know, so on and so forth. Having four dogs, they need some extra room and we'll link the dog fence down below so you guys can check out their different sizes for your dogs. Coming in at number four, we're gonna talk truck stops. This is something we've kind of learned fairly recently, but the majority of Love's truck stops, Love's is the name of the truck stop, have dog parks at them, which is a really nice feature, especially for us. On travel days, we're able to pull off, get fuel, get food, and let them run around for a few minutes and have some free time and go to the bathroom. If you're traveling in a Class A motorhome, your dogs are able to get up, walk yeah. around, you know, be with you. But these truck stops are really important yeah. for travelers that are in fifth wheels and travel trailers. Because if your dog's riding with you in the cab of the truck, they're going to want to get out and stretch their paws a little bit. It's a good feature to utilize. It's totally free also. They don't charge for it. And they're usually really nice. They're usually chain link fenced. Uh, usually have poop stations there, so definitely utilize those when you're on the road. Number five is talking about dog food. You know, we even had to do it. We were more specialized dog food people, yeah. but we switched to a national brand of dog food. Reason being is because you can find it pretty much anywhere. We use Rachel Ray Nutrish because you can find it at most any Walmart, mm. most any Target, um, and Walmarts even carry upscale brands like Blue Buffalo. Yeah, it, we, it was very important for us because, I mean, you're not always going to be in areas with you know, holistic pet stores. And the main reason for us was finding, being availability because you don't want to buy, you know, tons of it and have to store it. Walmart, Target do have gotten where they carry some better brands of food. We did our research and the Rachel Ray's Nutrition has worked out pretty good for our dogs so far. Coming in at number six is a pet monitoring system. You can buy them. They can be wired Wi-Fi. I know some of them have individual plans that you can buy but it's very important especially in the summertime if you go off you leave your dogs in the kennel or even just around on the bus 
Park Electric isn't always the most reliable thing in the world, and ACs have been known to shut off. And this alerts you when the temperature, you can set your parameters, the temperature being too warm or too cold. Um, some of them even have cameras, so you're able to have, see inside your rig while you're gone. Important thing, because you know, you leave them here, you leave them helpless basically when you're not here. It's a nice peace of mind to have, uh, you know, something there that will alert you if a problem arises. You know, if your dogs are running around, there's more likely of a chance they'll be able to get out in an emergency. If your dogs are kenneled because they tend to get in a little bit of trouble, as ours do when they're left unsupervised, mm -hmm. this system is going to, you know, alert you if something is going on and you can call the park directly right. or a neighbor or something like that to say, hey, there's something going on in my bus. Can you go get my dogs out? So it's always good to be thinking about that ahead of time because, you know, we're out on the road. We do tend to go out to parks and things and be gone for an extended amount of time. So number seven is one. It's kind of simple, but it also but it's something that's going to help you along the way. Stock up on your poop bags. You can buy them at Walmart or Amazon. Fairly inexpensive. Uh, we actually recycle grocery bags quite a bit if we build up a ton that we don't need. Believe it or not, you'll go to a lot of parks and there won't always be avail poop stands available or they will be out. So always keep some handy. Like I say, you can buy a whole big pack for just a few bucks. Well, in a lot of the parks, the reason why they're cracking down on yeah. having animals is because people aren't cleaning up after them. Yes, it sucks to have to pick up your pet's poop um, and it seems very backwards. The parks want them to be clean. They don't want people stepping in the poop. So always make sure you carry those bags with you and clean up after your pet whenever they go poop. Number eight, if you have long-haired dogs like we do, they have to get groomed. Even if you just have short-haired dogs, getting them a bath regularly is very beneficial to their health. And what we do is, even though I was a pet stylist for 15 years, <laughs> sometimes I don't want to do my own dog. I don't have the space to do it. And a lot of the campgrounds don't have self-serve pet washes. So what do we do when we don't have that? We go to PetSmart. The great thing about PetSmart is they're very, very safe. They have very high safety regulations and they keep your shot records on file. So you're not having to bring shot record after shot record to different groomers. They also keep your grooming notes on file. So if you're in Nebraska and you get your dog groomed and then you go to Kansas and you want to get them groomed the same way, they have the notes in the records and it makes things a lot easier. This goes back to the national brand thing because, yeah, you may have a wonderful groomer in your hometown, but grooming salons vary greatly by region, by town. There's no regulation. There's no standard. That smart holds a pretty high standard. You'll find them most in most any larger city in the United States. So we found that's been an easy, safe alternative for us while out on the road be visiting different areas. Me being in the grooming industry for a very long time, I've seen it all. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, PetSmart is the safest place you can bring your dog. And at the end of the day, that's what's important. Yeah. Well, as you guys may know, our dogs are very, very important to us. We travel with four of them on the road. We love them very, very much, and this list of stuff has really come in handy for us and made our lives simpler and easier while being on the road. These are things that we've, you know, kind of learned on our own, things that we, you know, solving problems or issues that we run into. It's, you know, dogs are a very important part of everyone's family, and um, yeah, we hope this video helped you guys. If you have any tips or tricks that you sure. did not see here, leave them in the comments below. Let us know what you thought of the video, and if you have any other ideas that we should be implementing with our pets. But that's going to wrap us up for this Talk Tuesday, guys. Thank you for watching, and we will see you guys on Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.